hey guys how are you doing welcome back to my channel if you have seen my face for the first time my name is fella Ikins. all right guys quickly i just want to do a makeup i have an event that i need to attend and i'm not a makeup person like that because my foundation always breaks out but this time around i felt like okay let me just do something without my foundation and look a little bit better than i used to do just enhance my beauty with all that makeup all more girl fine so guys i said ah, as i'm doing this makeup let me just gist you guys jerry about how i almost lost my first child when i had her like it was a serious one how she was misdiagnosed in the hospital guys it happened that when i had her she had this distended tummy like her tummy was big like big and strong about six or seven eight days after the naming i just discovered tommy was distended and big and i took her to an s center around us just for them to see you know first time mom now i didn't want to be i didn't want to self-medicate the child so i took her to an hospital and they were like ah we are referring you to loot so you have to go to loot i say hey whoa Loot, okay. All right, let's go. I thought it was something that will go, they will give us drug and that's all. We'll just return. That was how they checked the girl and they said they have to admit her. First, they said there was no table in last suit. There was no bed, rather. There was no bed that we had to wait for bed. I was, I was already becoming scared because it was a very, very big children ward that I, that, that I could see children dying. That same time I was there, like people died, children, babies. I was so scared. You know, it was my first child, guys. I was so, so scared. Like, I was literally shaking. If eventually they got us a space in the world and my daughter the journey began from the steady tummy they said she has a very little jaundice they had to put her under phototherapy it was one of the most emotional time for me like i was crying later they gave her blood that okay let's give you this baby blood then she was nine days old they gave her blood Blood, they gave her water, they passed, they asked me not to feed her anymore. So I have to express my breast milk into a cup and they pass it through syringe through her nursery. They didn't let her eat from her mouth because they said they were trying to watch what, what was causing the stomach distension. Guys, doctors upon doctors, no lawsuit is a, is a teaching hospital. So we met with several doctors and we were there for six freak nine freaking days guys but on the ninth day how were we able to leave some doctors already said they were gonna cut her up like it's going to be surgery somebody said ah this stomach this girl's tummy the intestine are not well placed so they have to do a corrective surgery oh more i nearly collapsed i nearly died this was my first child i started praying to god and it was like it was a it was like things were not falling in line the way i expected suddenly god answered my prayers a doctor asked us for the scan in fact we did scan for her the way we did this scan, the elder as if she's rat she's a rat like i really cried it was an emotional time for me then so a doctor asked for the scan that was the doctor we met as at the ninth day when we were already scared of the surgery doctor was like i almost a shit day inside this girl tell me now where are the doctors that has been seeing this girl this girl just needs to pull and or maybe she just needs to belch this is just gas and nothing more oh god i screamed with joy the doctor gave us some drug and she pulled well immediately she pulled and the gas came out the tummy deflated Bam, immediately like you can imagine what had the other doctor been seeing what do they mean by surgery misdiagnosing children and people in nigeria is actually a very bad thing and it's something the government really needs to look into so many people has died as a result of their mistake and them misdiagnosing people guys that was how we were discharged and my baby is fine she's four years old now and we give god all the glory by the way guys how do i look i look really adorable see me here see me here appreciating god's beauty in my life i hope you enjoyed this video and you got something from it please guys whenever you have any diagonizing anything and you go to the hospital make sure you are on the go and you are always watching out thank you bye